Happy B. Adams. I'm surrounded by wood that you must cut away. Keep me sharp if you have much to say. This was the second door sardines went through, but it wasn't really a door because you couldn't go back. More like a portal that sent you to another part of the dungeon or a library. Sardines pulled a scroll from the shelf and started reading it out loud. With a spine to move, bring the pages to life. With a cover to sniff and paper that cuts like a knife. Huh? What does that mean? The scroll turned to dust, and sardines felt a tingle of magic. Then a tap on his shoulder. It was the thief. Oh, hi! Thank you so. The girl cut off sardines, shouting at him. Except no sound came out of her mouth. She paused, puzzled by the lack of sound. She must have been poisoned by the silent spiders. She pointed at sardines. Sardines handed her a pencil and paper. This is your fault, she wrote. Sorry.、Uh, maybe we can find one of those magic scrolls that can cure you. This looks like some kind of library. The thief looked around at the shelves. She wrote, "Look for a scroll of cure any poison," and in big letters. Do not read any scrolls out loud. Of course, of course, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> right to it.、Uh, they split up to search through rooms of shelves and books. Sardines had a strange feeling someone was moving the books when he wasn't looking. Ridiculous! I found it! He shouted. The thief appeared, looking hopeful. Sorry, I, I mean the door to the next level. Look, it has another riddle. I'm surrounded by wood that you must cut away. Keep me sharp if you have much to say. Sardine sighed. I don't know. What's surrounded by wood and is sharp? Unicorns in a forest? Ah! I just want to go back. Sir Bravio, Sir Bravio was right. Dungeons are for heroes. I shouldn't be here. The thief handed Sardines a scroll. It said, "Magic scroll to get back home." Will this take me back home? The thief rolled her eyes and nodded. Sardines jumped with excitement. Thank you, thank you. I promise I'll find the cure for you before I leave. With renewed hope, Sardines started climbing shelves. Then he found it—a brittle yellow, greenish scroll titled "Cure Any Poison." I found. Ow! Talk about having your nose in a book. A book bit Sardines, causing him to drop the scroll and fall off the shelf. The books were jumping off the shelves and snapping towards sardines. Help! Paper flew everywhere as the thief appeared next to sardines, slashing at the books with a dagger in one hand and a pencil in another. She scribbled, "Go home." Sardines looked at the scroll in his hand, the magic scroll to get back home. He just had to read it out loud, and he would be back home, safe. He looked at the scroll and then at the thief biting off the book. She stabbed one book with a pencil. <gasps> We can use the door. I know the answer. The answer is a pencil. Pencils are surrounded by wood and need to be sharp to use. The door opened. The thief smiled at Sardines and said something before jumping through. Maybe it was a goodbye. Sardine was about to read the magic scroll to get back home when he saw the scroll to cure any poison. Floor. He grabbed it, but then a book grabbed it like a crazy dog and wouldn't let go. Oh, bad book, bad book, let go! It was a tug of war with a book, and he was losing. He still had to go back home, scroll in his other hand, so he waved that in front of the other book. It worked. The book let go and shredded the other scroll into pieces. Sardines fell backward and through the portal. Tap here to go to the next level. Was this fun? Then you should subscribe by tapping here, and be sure to check out other fun stories by children's author E. B. Adams.